Today, I'll be talking about one key domain as far as the health system responsibility is concerned. As I told you in the previous session that the health system responsiveness, these are simply the non-health uh, factors which are responsible for attracting and also making the clients and also the patients to be satisfied by the healthcare system. In total, there are seven, but some of the they go up to eight. But one of the key, key domains, which most of the patients, they really like it to be a really receptive, attractive, and conducive for them to be able to visit the healthcare facility as far as our studies concern is the basic amenities. The basic amenities are simply the infrastructure and the structural uh, things which are present at the healthcare facilities. So as far as the presence of its regional administration and local government is concerned, we started to implement what we call the primary healthcare development program, 2007 or 20. 17, uh, commonly known as MAM. So under MAM, we are required to actually construct the dispensary for every village. In total, we have about 12,445 villages in Tanzania. We have about 4,420 dispensaries in the country. So meanwhile, we have about 515 health centers. So one of our role is per mom policy. We are supposed to construct one health center per ward. But regarding the staffing level, we are supposed to have between 15 and 19 skilled personnel per dispensary. Whereas for health center, we're supposed to have about 39 to 52 healthcare providers per health centers. So for the year 2017 and 18 alone, we have been able to construct in total 508 healthcare facilities, of which dispensaries are 183. And the remaining facilities are the uh, health centers. And what we did for health centers, we constructed new health centers, which in total are 18, and also we were able to renovate. Well, when I'm speaking about renovation here, it did involve the construction of some important structures. So, but each facility, we were able to construct an average of five to eight important structures to be used. And among those structures which were built, included the, the laboratory, the maternity block, operating theater, with also incinerators, the uh, pediatric ward, and also the water harvesting system. So these are the some of the things which were constructed through the this uh, uh, program, which we started in first of July, twenty seventeen. But uh, also we have been able to receive funds to construct six to seven cancer hospitals in areas where we do not have the cancer hospitals. In total, in this country, we have 108 district hospitals, of which 7 are government-owned, while 38, these are faith-based organizations, owned healthcare facilities or private-owned.